Both federal and local investigators say they're seeing a new trend. Groups of people wandering through neighborhoods at night, stealing guns from cars, then selling them. Investigators say 19-year-old Marco Perez, accused of killing Mobile Police Officer Sean Tudor, did just that. News 5's Mary Smith joins us live outside of the U.S. Attorney's Office for Southern Alabama on Royal Street. And Mary, you did a story on Perez stealing guns from unlocked cars last summer. Yeah, Roseanne, that's correct. Last July, Perez was accused of going through about 18 cars with two other underage teenage teenagers and taking items like guns and other expensive items. Now, not only is he facing a murder charge, but he's also been indicted by a federal court on a gun charge. They go in the neighborhoods at night and they remove the guns from the unlocked vehicles and then they traffic those guns and sell them. Mobile police arrested 19-year-old Marco Perez back in July for doing just that, entering at least 18 cars with two underage teenagers, stealing guns and other valuable items. He was charged in the U.S. District Court in Southern Alabama for having a stolen semi-automatic pistol. But he posted his bond. Perez had violated the conditions of release uh, and so they were there was a warrant issued to pick him back up. Police say officer Sean Tudor had been searching for Perez, then received a tip he was at the Peach Place Inn. Well, he was very much aware that we were after him. That's where Perez is accused of shooting and killing Officer Tudor on February 20th with a gun stolen just days earlier. Court documents show Perez was indicted by a grand jury on the original federal gun charge two weeks ago from today. His case sheds light on a broader issue taking place citywide. And if you just broke in the one car a night or took one gun a night, we're talking about 365 guns a year. But it's more than that. In Mobile City limits alone, in 2017, 1,158 guns were stolen from cars. 245 of those were recovered. And in 2018, 1,195 guns stolen from cars, just 97 of those were returned to their owners. The majority of those, about 80% of them are unlocked. And the other disturbing fact is only about half of them have the serial numbers recorded. And so we're unable to determine exactly how many guns are actually being stolen. Those are just what's being reported to us. Reporting live tonight from downtown Mobile, I'm Mary Smith, WKRG News 5.